by the end of this video, you'll have the power to make Amazon PPC auto campaigns that print auto campaigns. What are they? Why are they here? Are they just Amazon fooling us into letting them spend all our money willy nilly like a hillbilly that just won the lotto? Or are they a seller's secret weapon to make their campaigns print? Like these auto campaigns, we have producing low A cost, profitable sales day after day. Well, I think you know my answer. Lucky or unlucky for you, I just finished an entire glass of Japanese single source hojicha and I'm ready to take you down the auto campaign rabbit hole, son. Just for context, I'm one of the single top spenders of Amazon ads on the platform with over $3 million in monthly Amazon PPC ad spend. We're going through not only how to set up auto campaigns properly, but also a secret strategy to make them profitable that I've never talked about publicly before, and I've actually never heard anybody talk about this before. If that's not enough to make you stick around and watch this video, I got nothing. Go get a latte. For the rest of you guys, buckle up. Let's make those auto campaigns profitable. Auto targeting is short for automatic targeting, and it can be found inside sponsored products under the targeting section. What this means is you're basically giving Amazon the wheel. You're saying, Amazon, it's all up to you, buddy. You go find all the targets. I'm not even gonna tell you what keywords to go after. I'm not gonna tell you what categories to go after. I'm not gonna tell you what audiences to go after, products to go after, anything. All the targeting is up to you, Amazon. We're trusting you. Now that sounds a little scary at first, and actually it kind of is, or at least used to be. But recently auto campaigns started performing better and better to the point where for us in our portfolio, some of our best performing campaigns as measured by ACOS are actually auto campaigns. But you have to set them up properly. That's the key, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So let's set up a sponsored product auto targeting campaign together. So I'm gonna just scroll down, add my product. Under targeting, I'm gonna click auto targeting, not manual targeting. And then I'm gonna see this little automatic targeting settings section. And there's two options, set default bid or set bids by targeting group you're pretty much always gonna want to set bids by targeting group because that opens up these three different auto-targeting match types. There's close match, loose match, substitutes, and complements. Close match and loose match are related to search terms. Substitutes and complements are related to products. Close match means Amazon is gonna be targeting keywords that are closely matched to the keywords that shoppers normally use to find your product. Loose match is giving Amazon more leeway than close match. It's basically saying Amazon test out some more freaky exotic keywords that might not normally be associated with searching for my product. Substitutes means Amazon is gonna focus on advertising on product detail pages that are substitutes for your products, i.e. the same type of product. So if I'm selling water bottles and I select substitutes, Amazon is gonna focus on putting my ad on detail pages of other water bottles listings. Complements is products that are not the same product as yours, but might complement yours. So if I'm selling a cheese board, Amazon might advertise my product on a knife set because people tend to buy knife sets with cheese boards. Now we're gonna get into best practices. So best practice is to isolate the match types. You don't wanna have all the match types in one campaign or one ad group. There's two ways to do this. You can do one match type per ad group or you can do one match type per campaign. Depends on how granular you wanna get and how big of a part of your total portfolio the auto campaign types end up being. Now when it comes to the bid, this is part of the secret strategy I'm gonna share with you in a minute, but first let's go through the rest of the process of setting up an auto campaign properly. Next we have negative keyword targeting. This is a really important part of setting up and managing an auto campaign because it's one of the few things that you can control. Since you're basically giving Amazon the wheel, giving them full control over targeting, one thing that you can still control with auto campaigns is telling them what not to advertise you on. So here you can put keywords that you either want Amazon not to advertise on that exact search term, or with negative phrase, you could tell Amazon not to advertise you for any keywords that include a given word. So for example, if my product is a wooden phone holder, I don't want people searching for metal or chrome. Any keywords that have metal or chrome, I know are not gonna convert for me because my phone holder is wooden, despite the fact that there's plenty of metal and chrome phone holders. To find out what keywords to put in negative keyword targeting, watch my video on keyword research, and you can find that on my channel. But don't stress about it too much. The main way you're gonna get your negative targets is by analyzing the data from your auto campaign after you've already set it up. Then you have negative product targeting. Now, similar to negative keyword targeting, 
This is telling Amazon, don't advertise my products on these particular ASINs or these particular product pages. So all you're gonna do is enter a list of products that you know you don't convert on. The main source of data for this, again, is your search term reports and your existing auto and broad and expanded product targeting campaigns where you see, okay, every time I'm advertising on this particular ASIN, it doesn't perform. So I just want Amazon never to advertise me on that ASIN. You'd type that ASIN into here. Next, you have your campaign bidding strategy. Now your default for this should pretty much always be down only. However, if you're having trouble actually getting impressions on your auto campaign, you can use up and down to give Amazon a little bit of flexibility to raise your bid so that you actually can get impressions, start getting clicks, start getting sales. And then once you find the bid that's working well, you can set that bid and then go back to down only. Next, you have your bid adjustments. Now, this is another thing. This I have a whole video on this. You could check it on my channel. It's just called bid adjustments. You'll see it on my channel easily. This is something that you'll want to play with after you've gotten some data back. So really, when it comes to auto campaigns, you're usually not just going to straight up start with top of search because it's really all about performance with an auto campaign. This isn't the type of campaign that you put in place for ranking. That's more for single keyword exact match campaigns, multi keyword campaigns. So since we're not so concerned with this campaign producing ranking results for us, we're not going to start with a top of search bid adjuster. Although once you look in the data, if you see that that's performing well, by all means, adjust the top of search bid adjuster. I'll show you how to do that after you've set the campaign up in a second. Then there's another type of bid adjustment, which is audiences. This is something that you can also mess with. I also have a full video on this type of bid adjuster on my channel. It's pretty recent. You'll find it just a few videos before this, where you can target people who are highly likely to purchase based on recent shopping activity, people who clicked or added the brand's product to cart, or shoppers who already purchased the brand's product. Now by default, you can just start with all of these being zero. Then when you go into the campaign later to analyze it to see which of these placements is performing well, you can put a bid adjuster on that so that Amazon focuses more of the budget on that. Then you'll give your campaign a name, put it in a portfolio, and then set your daily budget and you're off to the races. If you don't know what to put in your daily budget, check the video on my channel. I have a whole video on how to set the budget and uh, how to relate it to your overall product budget. Launch campaign and you're good to go. Then what you're gonna do is launch either another campaign or at least another ad group for the other four match types. Now you never know which of these is gonna perform best, but I can tell you if you're only gonna start out with a few, close match and substitutes are likely to perform better than loose match and complements, but you never actually know until you test. A lot of times you get surprised by the auto campaign match type that actually performs really well. Okay, now what is that secret that I was mentioning that can make auto campaigns perform super well and super profitably? Now this secret strategy was actually discovered by a couple of the teammates that I have inside Sophie Society and they shared it in one of our internal masterminds. I'm gonna play a clip of that for you and then I'm gonna describe the strategy for you. So we've got four auto-targeting campaigns running, uh, one at 40 cents, 60 cents, 50 cents, and 30 cents. And you see there's a complete difference in terms of performance across the different bids. And these are performing so well. So our ACOS target for this brand is 35%, and these combined campaigns are driving an 18% ACOS. So we've still got room to maneuver. I hope you caught that. So our ACoS target for this brand is 35%, but we're actually getting an 18% ACoS on these auto campaigns because of this secret bidding strategy. So what is it? So what we do is we put in place four different auto campaigns with four different bids. One at 30 cents, one at 40 cents, one at 50 cents, and one at 60 cents. And the interesting thing is, you might think that the lowest bid would perform best, or maybe you think the highest bid would perform best because it got the most impressions. But actually, you never know what bid is going to produce the best results and auto campaigns are very sensitive to the bid. What this is basically doing is putting you in different inventory placements on Amazon's advertising platform. So even if all of them are getting most of their placements on rest of search, the one with the bid that's putting you in competition with other brands who you're likely to win against is going to be better no matter whether it's the smallest bid or the biggest bid. So in this case, we were testing 30, 40, 50, and 60. The 40 happened to be producing the best and it was producing the best by far. You can see it's way outperforming 30, 50, or 60. So there's no way we would have known this unless we tested it. And the way to choose the bid is start at the minimum suggested bid that Amazon gives you and then increase it by 10 cents until you get not at the maximum suggested bid range, 
but somewhere just below the maximum. This is the key, this is the secret that I was talking about. Auto campaigns are very sensitive to the bid and lower is not necessarily better, higher is not necessarily better. There's a sweet spot that you can find sometimes. Now, just to mention a caveat here, this doesn't work on every brand, it doesn't work on every product, but when it does work, it can help you find a real gemstone of just a slot that works super well for you and then you could focus on scaling that campaign at that bid. Now I gotta shout out the absolute warriors on the Sophie team, Chris Pollock and Patrick, who spearheaded this strategy and have been doing the most testing for it. We've replicated this across a number of our campaigns. Sometimes it works really well. I'd love for you guys to test it, see how it works, and let me know how it works for you in the comments of this video. By the way, this is a small channel. I answer every single comment. I'd really love if you guys comment on this video, let me know your thoughts. If you test this out, let me know how it goes, and I will engage with you in the comments down below because there's not that many comments, so I can literally engage with all of them. So if you need professional help with your Amazon PPC and you want someone to help you grow your brand profitably with PPC, that's what we do at Sophie Society. We partner with brands, take over their PPC and help them grow profitably with their PPC. To see if you apply to work with us on your PPC, check the link in the description of this video and you can apply there, it takes 20 seconds. And if you wanna become a PPC wizard yourself, I host the biggest Amazon PPC training event in the world. It's called the Profitable PPC Challenge. It's coming up soon. You can find the link to that in the description of this video as well. And if you wanna learn everything there is to know about bidding, check out this video, how to bid on your Amazon PPC campaigns. After watching that video, you will never have questions about what to put in the bidding field ever again. See you guys over there.